Hi, and welcome to Neo's Makeup. I'm Neo, and today this is part of Heartstopper Week as well, but this one's a little different. So this is not inspired by any of the actual characters on the show. This is actually inspired by one of the actors. That would be Toby Donovan. Um, the reason I wanted to do this one very differently instead of doing Isaac was because Toby has been uploading vlogs from behind the scenes showing how things were made and done, and it's just like... I just have to say thank you for that because it's so fun to actually see how everyone is like just being themselves, not being on camera. And with that, I feel like we got to see more of you as who you are instead of seeing you like barely as Isaac. And it's so fun to see how just down to earth, not just you, but everyone is. And your vlogs have really just made me like love the show even more and maybe greatly appreciate you for being part of this cast. Um, I know we're supposed to see more of Isaac, so I'm hoping hoping we're going to see more. Come on. Come on. We need to see it. Um, also, I do want to say, I know, uh, Toby, that Kit gave you a camera. This is the same camera. So if you're watching this, this is the 4K type of footage that you can see. Obviously, very different being in a studio type setup versus being out and about on a film studio, <laughs> but this gives you an idea of how clear, because I'm like, this thing, like, I can get, and there now you can see every pore in my body. But if you do want to, I'm just loving this, honestly, okay. And so the reason I did this color story instead of doing something different that's because if you look at Toby on Instagram you see mainly nudes browns sometimes a pop of maybe blue but to stay in this like neutral cool nude territory I went with taupe and honestly I do like this eye look I I will say the palette struggles different primers still struggles on both so <laughs> That being said, if you want to see how I created this look, continue watching. I will say, this eye, I want to do it again with a different palette. I'm just going to throw it out there. I want to do this look again with a different palette. Oh well. <laughs> ah. Also, Toby, again, thank you. So let's get started. I already did uh, prime and set. I'm actually trying a new primer today. This is the ColourPop Party Proof Primer. I'll be honest, I tried it the other day when I was filming the look for Charlie. And things didn't go well, but that was also me messing up a lot. Um, so I'm trying it again today. I did set using Exposed by the Supreme, from the Supreme Nudes palette. And we're actually just going to be using Supreme Nudes today. I have not touched this palette since I got it, and that was like two years ago. But we set using Exposed, and now we're going to dip into Stripped, and placing that into the crease a little bit higher so that way we can start to get smoky. Okay, that literally looks like nothing on camera, but in person there is a difference. <laughs> Next, we're going to dip into Silhouette, which is this nice cool toned brown. So we're going really nude and cool for Toby. Wow, that is looking really nice. I am trying something a little different where I'm also looking down whenever I'm actually adding color. And I'm noticing, Lola, can you please stop? I'm trying to film, baby. I know, do you want to say hi to the camera? Hold on, I think she wants to say hi. Just a warning, she's gotten big. <gasps> I forgot, I need to change my shirt. 
Ah, is that why you came on? Look at this little girl, she's so big. Wanna say hi? Say hi, Lola. <laughs> she's so big. You my big little girl? Okay, okay. You wanna just sit here? Just wanna sit there while I film? Hold on. I actually forgot, I need to change this. I'm gonna let her, because I think she probably has to go outside. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're back in something new. Uh, we're gonna continue. And now, <laughs> you are just being attention to me today, aren't you? Lola, let me film, and then I'll give you all the attention you want. Now I'm going to pack on the shade right here that is ink. I'm gonna apply that to the lid. looks so nice. I do want to deepen this up a little bit so I'm going to add a little bit more mink. I have to say, you guys do not understand the want to dip into Supreme, which is this nice like olive. Oh, I want to dip into it. But that's not for this look. So hold on. I'm actually So I'm taking a different packer brush just to see if I can get more of that mink shade in because it kind of does fade when you blend, which is not a bad thing because that makes it really easy easy to blend shadow. It's just that I want to make sure that like this is like the most dark color. I'm really seeing it on this side, I don't know. Focus. Yeah, wow, that's weird. Because it looks like on this side right here, it just does not want to take that color. I'm gonna try blending it out a little bit with some more of silhouette to see if that helps. Right now, that's odd, that's happening. On the plus side, I really do like how smoke is. Okay, so I will say it's weird. On camera, it's not looking as blended as it does in person, but we're just gonna continue on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a thinner eye, eyeliner brush, comma, focus, there we go. I'm also going to take the Midnight Shadows from REM, this is in later. I'm actually going to do a wing. Um, I don't want to make it graphic, I'm just going to do like a regular wing. to see if I set that with um, that first shade I used, how well that's going to look. Is that looking really peachy? I don't want peachy. I want just So we're going to take Exposed. Is it my best liner application? No. We're gonna do it on this side though. Let's continue on. Honestly, I have a feeling because of how big it is, I'm gonna have to redo this eye. I'm not gonna complain about it. So using a different brush that came out so much better. I'm actually really liking how that looks. 
So I'm gonna redo this eye. We're gonna be back. I'm also gonna do like mascara, full face, everything. We'll be right back. So we're back, we're gonna finish up the under eyes. We're gonna take the same palette, do the same colors underneath. I will say, on this side, I used my usual primer. I got a lot more pigment. And also, the creasing and the crease still happen, so I don't know what's going on there with that shade. But we're gonna run the same shades of Mink, Mink, Silhouette, Stripped and Exposed, under, under the eyes. Okay, so I will say it took a while to blend that out. Uh, my camera actually died, so that's fun. But um, at least we got this to where I wanted it to go. I do want to say I was hoping I could get this a little bit deeper. It's not going. I will say I am not the most pleased with this palette, but it's okay. So for the inner corner, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, I found the one I want to use. This is Mushroom by Urban Decay. Oh, that is perfect. Oh my god. I'm going to apply L'Oreal Taupe Grey Tweed. And then we're going to be back for lips. Okay, that is on. Now I'm going to take, I literally had it here. This is L'Oreal Age Perfect Anti Feathering Lip Liner in Dark Chocolate. I'm going to use that to line the lips. If you haven't tried this, it's actually a really nice formula. I haven't tried the shade, so we're going to see. I have thoughts on that color because she's not dark enough. But you know what? At least she helped us line so we know where chocolate wasted by just color she's gonna go. So I'm actually going to give this a moment to dry down because the center is kind of patchy. But the color is so... Mm. Yeah, let me give it a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. Um, pardon on the interruptions today. This look has just been like... I'll be honest. I'm not happy with this. I'm still gonna try it out with other things to see how it works, but this I am not the happiest with. I will say the eye look I have though, I love it. Like, she made me take my time. Oh, there we go. But I'm like actually really enjoying this. Like the eyes, they, they, These eyes are soft, but at the same time dramatic. I don't know what's happening in the crease. I love how this turned out, honestly. I will say the lip. I wish I had a different lip on. I will say that. Because this feels weird. 
very dry, which I was not expecting. I had this on the other night. I was like, oh, this is so nice. It's so comfortable. Yeah, no, the lip liner, I don't know where it disappeared to. I had it, and then it just, like, fully disappeared. So who knows what that means? Um, yeah, this look, I am not even gonna lie. I was struggling a lot. Do I like how everything turned out, though? Yes. Would I do this look again with a different palette? Yes. Because honestly, this is just like a soft glam. It literally, I'm sorry, I know I'm, not, I'm looking to the side. That's why I had my mirror. It literally is just like a very soft look and it's so different for me. I really did like it. Well, <laughs> this was a mess, but overall the result was really nice. And again, Toby, Thank you for playing, Isaac, um, your vlogs. I need to thank you for that, because those are just so much fun to watch. Again, happy anniversary. I know today is the anniversary of when you got to say goodbye to everyone, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. I cannot wait to see what happens next for you and for Isaac. <laughs> so, thank you. Um, everyone, if you... I cannot speak right now. I am so stressed with this look um yeah that's how i'm feeling stressed but if you did like this look please do like comment and subscribe if you feel like me and want to see more please subscribe and click the little bell button because every time there's a new video you'll get a notification aside from that i hope you have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are and i hope to see you next time bye